Welcome back to this episode of Rebuilding a House for Metro Mortgage Investments. I'm Trent Dalrymple, and what we're doing is not just rehabbing, we are rebuilding. So let's go over the numbers before we go out to the house. We bought a little house in Royal Oak, Michigan for $75,000, and we are going to rebuild that house and make it five times larger than the original for $170,000. So that gives us a total into the project of $245,000. But when we're done, we should have a value of about $408,000. And that gives us a profit of $163,000. If you'd like to get involved in any of our future projects, please contact us. All the information is at the end of the video. Welcome back for episode five of Rebuilding a House. So it's been a couple of days since they poured the footings for the basement walls. And now we're going to watch as they set up the panels or the forms to pour the concrete for the basement walls.
setting up those forms or panels and then pouring the concrete actually took two days. And now they're going to have to wait several more days for that concrete to cure. Now, you probably remember a lot of houses back in the day used to be built with cinder block walls for the basement walls. In fact, a lot of builders still use that. But the R factor or the thermal resistance on concrete walls is a little bit higher, so it makes for a more energy efficient house. And actually, building it with concrete was a much quicker process too. So, hope you enjoyed it. Come back for the next episode of Rebuilding a House with Metro Mortgage Investments. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.